How is Wooski made, and how can we make it better, faster? Before we get into exactly what our product does, here's a quick lesson on how whiskey is made. Whiskey makers will start with a malt mixture made from either corn, rye, or a mix of grains. Water is added and brought to a boil which breaks down the starch and converts it to sugar. Once ready, they pour the mixture into a still and heat it to about 82 degrees Celsius. At that temperature, alcohol will boil, but water will not. As the alcohol evaporates, it is recovered by a condenser and collected. This clear whiskey is about 80% alcohol, which is too strong to drink comfortably. So, whiskey makers mix it with water to cut it down to about 40%. Most top shelf whiskeys are aged in brand new, fire roasted barrels for 10 to 20 years. Mid range whiskeys may be in barrels that have been used two to three times for four to nine years. And as far as well whiskey goes, let's just say it's aged three years or less, and there is more food coloring and artificial flavoring than you want to know about. The reason Top Shelf Whiskey tastes better is because it's had a lot more time to penetrate deep into the walls of the barrel and absorb the rich flavors from the wood. Over time, the wood also filters out toxins like the hangover causing acetaldehyde and methoxyphenyloxine, which is more commonly found in mice and pig shit. You really are getting what you paid for. The good stuff costs more because it takes longer to make. So is time really the primary factor in a good whiskey, or is the wood? Here's a fun fact. If you have one bottle of clear whiskey that is 30 days old and another bottle of the same clear whiskey that is three years old, they taste exactly the same. Unlike wine, alcohol doesn't change in flavor when stored in a glass bottle. So if 90% of the color, flavor, smoothness, and filtration is coming from the wood, then maybe we should take a closer look at the wood. So how does wood work? Trees are well designed to channel liquid. Water is pulled from the roots up to the leaves through a network of microscopic tubes called xylem. This is also known as capillary action. So if trees have all these microtubes that they utilize to effectively transport liquid, then what's the holdup? The wood barrel design was developed more than 2300 years ago, around 350 BC, to be used as a watertight receptacle for storing and transporting liquids. In order to shape the wood, they would heat it with fire, allowing it to bend, but also causing the wood to char. Then, around the turn of the 13th century, the technique of distilling alcohol was developed, and so of course, they stored this alcohol in wood barrels. The Scots noticed that if they simply stored their alcohol in these oak barrels for longer periods of time, it would get filtered through the wood and create a smoother, richer, more enjoyable alcohol with a nice amber color that they coined whiskey. So when we walked into the liquor store and asked ourselves a very simple question, what's the difference between top shelf whiskey and well whiskey? The answer came simply, time and oak. And that's when it hit us. If the goal is for the whiskey to filter in and out of the wood, get infused with flavor, and pull out those rich colors, then the barrel may not be the best design to achieve this process. Wood barrels are only good at containing the whiskey because the wood is cut vertically, so the capillaries aren't exposed to liquid. Otherwise, the whiskey would slowly seep out of the sides of the wood like a wet paper bag. We realized that we could put the barrel into the whiskey and accelerate the process considerably. We designed a product to take advantage of transpiration through capillary action that provided shorter distance for whiskey to travel through repetitive exposure to the capillaries by cutting it horizontally. We call this process accelerated transpiration through capillary action, and our product is called Whiskey Elements. After a year of development, six patents filed, hundreds of samples tested, three destroyed ovens, and a couple nights we don't really remember, you can now rapid age your whiskey three years in just 24 hours and have complete control over the flavor. This is tradition combined with innovation to create an efficient aging method for whiskey. Most of our friends and family had this to say, bullshit. So we met with multiple labs and chemists to have them test three popular bottles of top shelf whiskey all over 10 years old and each over $100 a bottle for chemical content. We then had them test three popular bottles of well whiskey for the same chemicals. The well whiskies contained high levels of methoxyphenyloxine and acetaldehyde, while the aged top shelf whiskies contained almost none of either. We then added a whiskey element to each of the well whiskies, waited 24 hours, and tested them again. The results were amazing. They showed characteristics only found in top shelf aged whiskies with higher levels of chemicals responsible for good flavors and smells as well as a significant reduction in methoxy, phenyloxine, and acetaldehyde. Yay science! So what does all of this mean? It means drink your whiskey the way you want to drink it. This all-natural process works on any and all whiskeys. Just pick out the element you wish your favorite whiskey had, 
whether that be oaky, vanilla, maple, smoky, peaty, or whatever we come up with next, you can now add that element to your whiskey and enjoy your completely unique barrel-aged taste tomorrow. Agitate now and then for best results. Cheers.